All right, good morning, everybody. All right, today we're going to be going through the dub list and some of the problems that we have with the, um, with the dub list when we put in spots and recycle numbers. Uh, one of the things that happens is we do a purge list every so often that is supposed to remove old spots and it's supposed to remove them from the FloraCal database and from the Omnion media deck. But for some reason, it doesn't always do it for both. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. But I'm going to go through this dub list. This is what it looks like. I normally get a paper version of this, and I sign off on each one that comes up. But this is the dub list. And we will go through this, see the which ones are duplicates or whatever, and we will remove them and so on and so forth. So there's two parts to this. There's the Omnion part and the Floracal part. So first, we will do the Omnion part. And how we do that now... It's kind of weird because they're both on here. Let's go ahead and check this out. We got, let's sort them by house number. Yeah, whatever. We'll leave it like this. CM12739. So let's go into Clipter. And what we're going to do is there's a folder here that I have called Purge. And this is where I put things before I delete them on Monday morning. So now I'm going to open up clip.dir again. This is the, f the folder that has all of the media that we'll be playing. All right, so if we look on here, CM12739. So we type CM12739, and we don't have it. And I like to sort ascending so I can see them. So we got 739, 40, 50, 51, 52. So let's look at these. There's no 40, 50, no 50, 51, 52. All right, so we're good there. 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, all the way to 62, 63, 763. CM 12763, they stop right here, so we're good. Okay, so now. Let's look at this one. PP12212. PP12212. Now, this is a paid program. And there's no 12212. It's only 12210. All right, so now let's look at the PRs. PR12308. PR12308. These are promos. Okay, there is a 308. 313, 319. So what I like to do is I like to hold the control key and grab these. There's no 319. 320, 22, 23. There's no 20, but there's a 22 and a 23. And 351, 551. Um, we'll grab the 351, but we'll wait on the 551. There it is. And if we grab these and drag them over here, they will remove out of the playable media files into a folder that the Omnion will not look for. So it won't play those files. Okay, so 551 and 579. PR12551. PR12579. Grab those and put them over there. All right, so that's that dub list. There's actually two dub lists today, so we will go through both of them. PP12213. I think there is this one in there. Nope. There's no 12213. 12363. Okay, that's there, so we get rid of it. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> yeah, we'll get rid of that. Okay, cool. Okay, so that is the Omnion part. That's how we get rid of them. Now we're going to come back to Omnion a little bit later, so I'm going to leave it open. Uh, right now I'm going to switch over to our media station, and this is where our database is held, right here. It likes to have the caps lock key on. Okay. What I'm going to do is click on this, 
This is, let me explain what we have here. We have what are called media records, content records, location records, and then events. Um, the media records are, are the players. It's what machine is going to be playing out which whatever, whatever spot it is. We only have one media record. Well, no, we got a few, but we've got the server main, we've got a temporary and external, whatever. And then we have a content records, which are what the files are that are going to be playing or what the spots are, who they're associated with, so on and so forth. And then the location records are telling it where the content for the content records is located or which media it is. It kind of combines the two. So basically it says, okay, this is the player, this is what needs to play, and this is which player you'll find it on. So that's what the location records do. All right, so when we get a dub list, we have to enter in location records for everything that's coming in as a file. And it's not going to let me switch, so let's do it like that. Cardinalist Markets is CM12739. And what we're going to do is just put in the house numbers, the length, and where it's located. And so how we do that is we add a new location record, and we're going to paste SVR1 main because that's the name of our media player here. And then we will just type, what was it? Actually, I can move this over here and kind of do them both at the same time. All right, so we'll type CM12739. And then start of media is the beginning time code. Let's go through this. 12740. The house name is this house number here. Time code SOM means time code start of media. And all of the files start with 0000. And then this is the length. And it should match what's on the content record. Seven two should be seven five two. Then we're bound to find one that didn't get deleted, so we'll show how we deal with that when that happens. This is a pretty easy task. Okay, this is when we have a problem. So we're looking at it. We've got to make sure that we have to look at the error message and see what it says. It says record with the same number and house number already exists. So we're going to mark this. That's not usually how I mark it, but I'm going to mark it so that I know which one it is so that I can replace it later or fix it later. And I'm going to show you how to, how to fix that. All right, let's insert some more. By the way, to insert, it's just Alt-I if you're on a Windows keyboard. Uh, for me, it's Command-I because I'm on a Mac keyboard. I do 320. Okay, 322 exists. And remember, you got to make sure you see what that error message says.
Okay, that exists. So what happens if I type something wrong? Well, it's not going to add a separate record. So let's say if I type PRR12579. So instead I might, whoops. So instead I might get something like this and it says it can't locate the record. So then you look at it and say, oh, okay, well I typed it wrong. So you get those two error messages. One of them is saying that it already exists. And that's if you type it wrong and something does exist. But you have to look at it and see if you typed it correctly here. And then the second one is if, you, if it doesn't exist, if there's no content record for it, it's going to tell you that it doesn't exist. <coughs> okay. Let's look at this other one. Okay, so we have PP12213. All right, so that one exists. And PR12363. Okay, that one exists too. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to remove these first. And how we remove them is we remove their content records. So all we do is, in this search box that comes up when we go to content, we type the one we want to erase. And you look at it, and if you look here, this says Eric Palacios, this says Universal Church. So we know that is incorrect. So you just hit this little arrow here. It says Alt-D, or Command-D for me. And then you hit Yes, and it's gone. And if you want to search again, it's Command-S. Or you can just click on this little guy. All right, so we look here. We have 11 p.m. teaser, and this says Celebrando. So we're going to delete this one. I don't know why it's not letting me delete it now. Okay, there we go. It's gone. All right, so we have PP12212. And let's delete that. Search for PR12322. And the other thing we can do is type our ending here, 12323, since they're close enough together. So we can actually just Command-D to delete both of those. All right, so those are gone. Now, the trouble is we've just deleted the content records. So now we don't have any content records. So I can't put these numbers in because it's going to say, hey, there's no content record there. We'll do it as an example just to show you. So if I add a new one and I say PR12323, whoops, I got to put that there first, PR12323, and then I put this here like this, it's 15 seconds, it's going to say, I can't locate that record. There is, no lo there is no content record for that. All right, so let's go ahead and leave this open. And what I will do is let's close this bad boy here and let's minimize this. And we're going to process the dub list. And how we do that is you double click process dub list at the little, um, a little lightning thing and find the latest dub list, which should be these two. So we'll do this one first, open it, and then hit yes. And then when this, you just hit okay on this and then this says, do you want to delete it? We don't want to delete it yet in case something else happens and we need it back. And then we check it with this. And this is the big dub list. So now let's go and process the smaller one, which was the upper one. It says, are you sure you want to process it? You say, yes. Okay, there's a smaller one. Now let's open this back up. And let's put these ones with the X's on them. PP12212. All right, so now it's letting me put them in.
All right, now, the reason this is a two-step process like that <coughs> is because there's two functions going on here. The first one with the, um, with the files in Omnion, that's actually the media file. So that would be like the tape. The second one, this one here, is telling it where it's located. This is the database. So this is like the instructions for the tape or the label on the tape or maybe even the tape case. So we're just getting rid of both and making sure they, they all match. All right, so those are all done. We were able to do both processes there. Now we're actually going to process the dub list and, and do what needs to be done. Now what's really cool is we have this Vantage server, um, and there's a lot of fun things that we will do with that. But first, all right, let's go through this dub list. Let's move this one aside and go through this one first. And we will close this for now. I'll just minimize it. <coughs> it's not letting me pull this out as a window. Here we go. No, it's just showing me the finder. I don't want the finder. I want... Ah, it's not letting me do it. Okay. So, Cardenas... Number three is 12739. And number... Well, I've got it on the paper here. I'll look it up right there. So, we're going to go to clip.dir first. Well, we'll just do it full screen like that. All right, so I'm going to look for Cardenas Markets. And this is one. So it is CM12740. Whoops. I need caps lock on. All right, and this one is CM12739. Okay, so now those will play properly. Uh, Nissan hasn't been downloaded yet. Okay, I've got some Finley Chevrolets here. Let's uh, give a little more room here. The ones that do not say R, these R ones are the ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to delete these other ones because they're useless. He didn't number these right. Eight, seven, six, five, four. He's got A, B, and C. So we'll do A as Ramon. CM12751. B as Josie, because she was the second person. CM12752. And Al as CM12753. Okay, so we got those ones. Rosemans, Celebrando. That would be. Okay, here's the Roseman vignette. Uh, that's supposed to be a minute long. So I'm going to have to re export that. Nevada Broadcasters Association, I don't have. Centennial Toyota, I haven't put in place yet. Poker Palace. Okay, here it is. CM12760. Universal Studios I don't have. What is that? <coughs> MPT. Oh, I know what that is. Okay. That is... SEIU? No, it is. Here, I'll find it. Date modified. Let's go to the top. I America. CM12762. And this one is CM12763.
Okay, and then on the other page, I have a Celebrando that's Rogers. I don't have to take care of that. And Eric Palacios' program that's on a DVD. Actually, you know what I did was I put in the uh, location record for the Eric Palacios one. I don't need to do that. Okay, let's leave that up. Let's go in here, grab this bad boy, and here's we're going to go in here and remove this Eric Palacios thing because it doesn't need to be there. So we go to the location record and we type PP12213. All right, and I'm just going to delete the location record. The reason I'm doing this is because this is on a DVD. And so when TJ inserts it, if it has a location record, it's not going to let him insert it. So by removing this location record, when he goes in to insert it, it will allow him to do so. All right, so now I'm going to grab some spots from uh, Extreme Reach. And I type, whoops. Okay, I, go, I log into app.extremereach.com. And this is it. So what we will do is go to spot deliveries. And this is kind of fun here because I have the ISCII code of the spot right there. So I can just come up here, paste it, and it will find the spot for me. That's funny, it's got two of them. I wonder why it has two. And you just hit the little blue download arrow and it will go in, go down here. All right, let's find the next one. It is... Universal Studios Hollywood, this one here. So we'll copy that ISCII code, paste it here. Any of the other systems we use, like Javelin, um, Comcast Ad Delivery, they all have search boxes for ISCII codes, and you can just copy it from the dub list and paste it in there and find it and download the file, and it's real easy. Okay, we are going to find this file. The other one is downloading here. And all I have to do is, once I find it, I'm going to put it into spot transfers. And here's the Nissan Regional. First thing we will do is change the name, CM12750. And here's the Universal Studios, CM12761. And we just grab both of those and drop it into spot transfers. It's going to copy it because this is actually on an external hard drive not on the sand like the rest of it. <coughs> okay, and then I also have a friendly Ford, which has been downloaded. Okay, let's go through the rest of these real quick. Celebrando Hispanic Festival. Um, we are going to have to change that. Uh, so I need to open up I Final Cut Pro for that. But while that's opening, let's find this Nevada Broadcasters. Okay, they got this little site here called NBA, nvbaspots.com. And the one I'm looking for is... called 0316 GAGF. So here we go. Spanish HD30. This is the one. So now it's waiting, it's going to download it. All right, so Final Cut Pro is looking for something and I need to give it Celebrando 2015. All right, once this downloads, I don't know why it's downloading as a zip, but whatever. Once it downloads, we will drop it in and drop it into the spot transfers, and then um, Vantage will take care of the rest. Okay, so here I have 
the promo that I have here is this one here. This is Roseman here. All right, so I'm going to double click this and I'm going to remove the commercial here. because they just want the vignette. And we will export this as, we'll go ahead and export it as a media number because we have it. And then we don't have to worry about it. CM12754 into spot transfers. Once it's done exporting, uh, Vantage will take care of the rest. Okay, I'm just kind of skimming through here. Friendly Ford, let's go ahead and do that one. No, actually, while that's exporting, let's go ahead into this one here. This is what just downloaded. All right, so all I have to do is drop it into spot transfers. And this time, I'm going to, well, I don't want to move it there. Let's drop it in with the option key so that it copies it. Stop. <sighs> Let's go find that again. Well, we got it here. 0316, so 0316. It's not complete. All right, so I will option copy it. And we will just change the name here. CM12755. If we do this fast enough, then Vantage won't take it before we change the name. You got about a minute, and then Vantage will take it. Okay. So let's do Friendly Ford. Friendly Ford should be here in the downloads right here. This is the program. This is the SCC file, and we are going to merge the two. And I found there are several ways to do this, but the fastest way to do this is with Adobe Media Encoder and Mac Caption. So I'm going to open up Adobe Media Encoder. <coughs> and this is it here. And I will take the Friendly Forward program here. I'm going to change this to MXF OP1A. This is just like I used to do with Mac Caption with the David Wilson's Toyota all the time. Um, it's very similar. And we are going to tell it to save it in spot transfers. No, we'll leave it in downloads. We'll go ahead and just leave this name just like this and hit save. And then we'll hit run. And while it's doing that, it should take about 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take a break a little bit. Well, no, actually probably take about five or six minutes. I'm going to take a break for a little bit and then come back when it's done. Okay, so now this is done. Right, let's go ahead and close that. So we have we have an MXF file and an, all this good stuff. And we have the SCC file here as well. So let's go ahead and open up Mac Caption. And all I need to do, really, everything is all done with the SCC file. So I'm just going to grab it, drag it in there, and I'm going to, I don't have to worry about timing or anything. I'm going to embed the CC into media, and I'm going to go to a Sony ex material exchange format. And this one we will give the name PP12212. Remember, this is coming off the dub list. We'll put it into spot transfers. Okay, this is the save file, and now it's going to give me, it's going to ask for an input file, an MXF input file. So we'll go to downloads, 
and load it up eventually. There it is. We'll type friendly, so should find it. Eventually. <coughs> Nothing yet. It's there. It's just being really slow. Okay. There's program one. We want program two. Okay, there it is. Friendly Forward TV Programa Dos. Oh, nice. Now I just skipped it. Friendly Forward TV Programa Dos. There we go. Open. Okay. Now it's going to do its process. Come on. Grab it. And then once it's done, Vantage should grab it and, and take it. So let's go ahead and open up Vantage real quick. Pause. Okay, we're missing some too. All right, we got Centennial Toyota. Let's throw those in there. These are the Centennial Toyota spots. Um, I'm going to grab one at a time. Put them into spot transfers. We'll grab this one first. Oh, no. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to put it in spot transfers, not back in the downloads folder. Okay, here it is. And... Because this is just moving over there, we're just going to name it real quick, CM12756. Now, if you don't make it, if you don't change the name before Vantage takes it and starts moving it over, you can always just go into clip.dir on Omnion and, and fix it. Change the name there. December, CM12757. CM12757. And best selling cars, CM12758. CM12758. All right, so those are done. What else do we have here? Centennial Toyota, Nissan, Finley, Chevrolet, Roseman, Poker Palace, United, Universal Studios, Friendly Ford. Okay, cool. So this is done. This is a uh, Mac caption. It's done now. And now all we have to do is wait for Vantage to finish its part. So let's open up Vantage. Oh, it's not going to let me. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and log off here and open up Vantage.
Okay, so here's Vantage. It's um, in the process of moving the other files over. And if you can see, this one it's flipping. It's almost done. This is probably just saving. This one it's still transcoding. This one, same thing, still transcoding. This one here, it is analyzing so that it can flip it and put it in there. All right, so basically all we need to do is wait until this is done. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and watch this this whole time, so this is pretty much done as far as I'm concerned. That will go for a little bit, and I've already done a video on how to check for captions, so we're not going to review that one. Instead, I will go through and review all the rest. And what we'll do is launch this back up and simply open up Media Filer. And the other thing I'm going to do is open up Blackmagic Utilities and Blackmagic Media Express so that I can see the video as it comes in. Now let's change my routing. All right, so all we need to do is see that. So let's just go ahead and do this, CM. One, two, seven, three, nine. That comes up and says, you're about to look at something. You say, okay, and review it. Whoops, here's the spot. All right, looks good to me. And let's go ahead and do the rest. All right, now what we can do is, even though that thing, oh, you know what? I don't think it's been transferred over, so never mind. It's not going to work. It's still encoding it, and then it will delete it, or it'll transfer it and then delete it from Vantage. So it's still on the Vantage server. It's not on Omnion. But basically, all you have to do is go through and verify that everything plays out. And if the file is not there, you will get this. You get an hourglass for a little while. And then it will come up and say, failed to queue. So we don't need to worry about that. <clears throat> when that does happen, we know that the file is not there. We either need to check with Vantage or uh, do something so that we can get that file in place. Here's the Nissan Regional. And we don't hear it. I see the levels there, but I don't hear the spot right now. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these, but we don't need to see it. So I would like to thank you very much for watching.